Hello everybody, this is Bodrich and this video will be me ranting a bit here. Uh, my plan is to rant about uh, GTK and QT, I guess you pronounce it. Or maybe it's cute, I don't know. Uh, and why they, um, what, I don't know, rant a bit about them. Uh, I, I was about to say why they are bad, but um, that that isn't what I want to, to rant about. Uh, I would also like to just open some image or something. Yeah, this uh, beautiful wallpaper that someone posted on, on the i3 subreddit a while ago. Let's just have that as a background here, but when I speak uh, this this uh, opening thing here because I was about to make that video, but I got disrupted in the in a really really weird way uh, I, I, I cannot even imagine how things like this uh, could have happened, but uh, apparently things have happened uh, Or not really it isn't It's not a big event that has happened, but it made me really uncomfortable and sad and also angry actually and yeah emotional i really got uh, affected by it uh, and i don't want to say too much uh, because uh, yeah or let's let's say this uh, i follow lots of blogs like hundreds of blogs personal blogs some are from from just uh, normal <laughs> blog writers uh, it could be you could be me kind of people you know and then there are more like uh, high profile blog writers and then there are i i really like to follow blogs from uh, developers uh, sometimes they you they write really interesting uh, things about workflows or or about uh, thoughts about uh, ideas about programming or whatever Usually very high quality writing from programmers um, and especially the software you like and you also yeah whatever you get to know that person behind the code whatever you know uh, and one probably my favorite uh, developer also happens to be Swedish uh, maintains one of the largest uh, uh, software or the most used uh, software in the world like top top three or something. The maintainer of this project, I follow his blog, and he just posted uh, a post on, on his blog. And here, I, I don't want to show it. I usually do that, you know, I have my tabs in my browser, but I really don't want to show this. And I don't want to say exactly who wrote this. You can probably find it. Maybe this will blow up over the internet. Uh, but he wrote about uh, receiving... Uh, uh, Well, a death death threat actually for for the software that that they have been maintaining for for twenty five years. Uh, uh, very creepy, very very creepy uh, email he had received, uh, and I I actually made a video before this one just talking about that and making opening the tabs and stuff. But it, uh, I I realized it's a very bad uh, thing to do for from me. And what I, you could see that this developer, he was really taken by this. It, 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 uh, it had a very, he felt this, this is creepy, you know, and he, he felt bad. And this guy is not just a great developer maintaining one of the biggest, most used uh, open source programs in the world, if not the, the most installed and used program in the world. He have ma maintained this. For 25 years you know he shouldn't uh, should never receive anything like this and, and i guess he was also surprised by it and it was really it was about this uh, program that he is writing that he received the death threat it was very very strange uh, and you could tell that uh, uh, the developer here he wrote this blog post in in effect so to speak he uh, yeah well, I, I cannot speak for him but Maybe uh, it, it wasn't the best idea to put that uh, blog post out there in the public uh, Because my first uh, reaction was yeah, what can I do here? I, I, I just want to make the person who have made um, one, of, one of the best a really good guys, you know, he ever threatened him 
and that I got first angry and I also felt uh, like uh, sad for knowing that that this developer was, was uh, kind of afraid or and and also sad like it, it's something like, what, what is this how, how can people be like this you know um, but I was mostly angry I was like how can I <laughs> I would almost like to to hurt this person or something and I uh, I cannot do anything I'm not a hacker or anything but I have my YouTube channel maybe I can make a, a opinion video you know kind of thing about it and I kind of did and it was it, in a way it was kind of a good video uh, I had a flow so to speak uh, and extremely honest what I thought about this and stuff I even cursed in the video which I don't think I have ever done ever on the YouTube channel uh, but then I realized this what's the point of this what will happen maybe I have a hacker uh, a viewer and then that person will kind of hack this uh, even if it's a very bad person or whatever what w would that lead to you know and with that I mean maybe maybe someone figures out who this is and then they send him an email and say hey you shouldn't be mean to my my favorite developer and then that uh, this uh, bad person guy what would happen you know maybe then that snowballs and that uh, could, could uh, turn into more threats to the developer or whatever you know or maybe even yeah let's not even go there but i feel nothing nothing good um there there's there's almost nothing you could do you know uh what, what i actually did and i'm saying this not to virtue signal or anything um i actually sent him a, a mail he's swedish you know so i could write in swedish just try to write some some nice some nice uh, yeah words to him felt it's that's the only thing you can do to fight uh that kind of thing you know from my side what i can do and it's not so much that the developer can do either uh, and i also recommended him to to remove the blog post actually because maybe someone not with any bad intentions could put a snowball uh could start rolling a snowball, so to speak, as a snowball effect. Uh, that can, it's very hard to see how it can uh, turn into a good thing, you know. I don't know, I don't know. Now it got a bit weird anyways, this video. But um, don't, if you watch this and if you figure out who I am talking about or anything and stuff, I think uh, the best thing to do is to do like nothing, you know. Um, and not give uh, this bad person any kind of attention whatsoever and hopefully uh, the developer will never receive any mails or anything from him, from him again I really hope that that can be the case you know but it's a bit uh, well I don't want to say that either but it's uh, with that blog post, I saw it, I was very close posting a video that uh, could very well have, have made someone else do something stupid, even if, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I wasn't thinking straight either, you know, and I, I, I am like, a third, I don't even know, I have never met this uh, developer guy, even if Sweden is a small country, we don't, everyone doesn't know each other, whatever, you know. Uh, but I was very affected by it, by the whole thing. And I think a lot of people who see this uh, will feel the same, you know. And I really hope it will not snowball, so to speak. But uh, <laughs> there is a possibility. Uh, I don't I don't know. Yeah, now this video got weird. I will not talk about KDE and GTK either. I got weirded out by this. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I am, or whatever. I will not talk about myself. Um, I hope you have a great day, everybody. Be nice to each other. If, if you know, like a developer or something, it can be good to tell them that they are good, doing good with their software. Uh, especially if the, if it is like open source. Uh, especially if, um, yeah, if it's something you have used a lot instead of, yeah, and uh, 
it also feels really weird to talk about GTK uh, and and uh, QT here <laughs> after this. Because they are, I guess, also open source software, even if it's really <laughs> difficult. Maybe the, those aren't the ones who should receive love letters, but maybe we should take it a bit easy, you know, with the flame, flaming and flame wars. Uh, uh, in many ways, we are we are on on the same side, I guess, and that was kind of what I wanted to get to in that uh, uh, rant about GTK and QT and what what it is, you know, because I have been annoyed uh, by both those UI frameworks, and it feels like you have to choose one or the other, and none is like then you 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 you. Uh, will have a lot less software, so to speak. Whatever. Let, I, I don't feel like talking about it now. I will also just try to, to relax a bit here and then um, I will uh, uh, fiddle a bit with, with my light Excel fork. I have a lot of stuff to do. I hope you have a great day, everybody. Be nice, be nice to your local open source developer, okay? Bye.